So I got a request uh, to make a tutorial for MyAnimator showing how to import and use PBR and material maps, you know, normal maps and everything in the program. Well, less of a request and more like I offered to because they said someone should do this. Here's a screenshot on the freaking screen. But yeah, this tutorial should show you how to do that. So first of all, obviously you need some scenery and here's some I've just opened up. So I'll just select this much of the schematic. So before you add the PBR shaders, you probably want to put this all the way down because it's annoying to have the clouds so close to the... Once you have your scenery in, you're going to go to your project settings, go to render settings and set them to custom, and then you can ha access the render settings. At the very bottom, object material maps. Make sure you, tr make sure you turn that on. Then you'll see in the scenery import, there is texture, material map, and normal map. Well, uh, don't create another. No. Oops, I deleted the wrong one. So you want to go and search for vanilla renew. And you want to go to this one. I'll put the link in the description. And you'll go to code and click on download zip and wait for that to download. And for the file you just downloaded, I know this is a mess, let me just isolate this. So you'll take your downloaded file right here, and you'll extract it. So once it's extracted, you want to open it. And you can see when I open it, there's another folder in it, and in, the, in that folder, that is just, there's just one. And that's the reason why my animator can't read it, is because there's another subfolder in it. So you want to go into that folder, select everything in it, and I'm going to use 7-zip to re-zip it into this. And this is what we'll open in Minimator. I have my own right here uh, that I use. Actually, I deleted it. <laughs> I have my own that I just got rid of the master at the end of the name for. So, that's the one we'll be... Hello, OBS! This is a this is a video. I suppose I should start a test. Okay. We're gonna forget that exists. Shoot, that's the, that's the test. That's not even. Get that out of here. All right. So once you have that set up, then you can go and import. Oh, then you can go and import your resource pack, and this is the one that I use. So that'll import. Now sometimes this crashes, so it's not my fault. So we'll just put this on, and it'll look terrible, but that's okay. We can fix it. And we'll put it on the norm. We'll put on the normals. The normals, you, the normal map, you can't see unless you render it. So you see all these bumpies on the ground. That's the normal map. The reason <laughs> it looks so. Uh, that is because it's using a different format and that format while well, one well, animator supports it you just have to go into resources scroll all the way down it's probably at the bottom of your project if you have a lot of stuff in it and then uh, just you click use glossy material and it'll probably be more like what you wanted more like but that not the best still it's not the most accurate and I think it's something to do with this resource pack but it's the only one I could find with materials in it that is actually vanilla faithful so some things that influence this um, the coloring of the, uh, the, the the materials and everything like that are in uh, the environment settings like the sky for the sky has a big effect on it if I turn that down you can obvious well you, you, let me render. You can obviously tell that, well, there's there's nothing going on anymore, because the sky is completely black. I can reset it. Hold on. And now you can see there's obviously stuff going on. So the sky will always affect it, and I don't really know, but you can obviously get it to look really nice, as you've probably been able to see and as I have an example up probably 
normally you will have to mess with the the camera settings in the color correction you have to contrast put the contrast and brightness up and probably turn down the saturation a bit to compensate anyways the best way to use it is obviously to not be able to see the sky so what I'll do is I put in a sky sphere and then I'm sure you know how to set up a sky sky sphere at least I hope you do just set that to zero set these to zero 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 S scale it crazy high whoa and turn on blur texture probably maybe not blur texture it depends go down to em em emissive turn that all the way up and rotate it to where the sun is supposed to go <coughs> and turn off cast shadows turn off Cloud. And now we can adjust the sky color to be pretty much whatever we need while not worrying about the sky color. So our PBR and our normals are working. But yeah, using a sky sphere is very important because the sky on this texture pack at least <coughs> kills everything. And then you have your PBR and material setup. 